When taking down the Mirage, first of all, you want to remove your end panels. Next, we're going to remove the front panels by pulling the panel off the magnet at either side. And then, taking the trim strip at the top off of the pins. When I roll my panels, I'm going to make sure that the image is rolled outwards. When rolling your graphic, make sure that you roll it image outwards. This will extend the life of your graphic. Your graphic was also shipped to you in plastic bags. Keep hold of these and place the graphic inside that plastic bag before rolling it. That, again, will extend the life of your graphic. Once you've rolled the panels, place them back inside the transporter, and then just let them expand until it hits the edge of the transporter. Subsequent panels are going to go inside. You'll have four front panels on your Mirage. For best weight distribution between the transporters, you want to put two panels into one transporter and two panels into the other. The end panels can go into either transporter. Once you have all of your panels removed and back in the cases, next you're going to remove the channels. Start at the bottom and just give a twist to the channel to pull it off of the pins. Going to move up, do the same thing, twist at the bottom and the top will fall off. Next, give it a twist at the bottom and the top will unhook. We're going to take the middle channel, we're going to fold it up into the top channel. The reason we do this is the lower channel is going to protect the two pins on the top of the channel. Next, the very bottom channel is just going to fold in to the top two. We're going to locate our B core. We're going to place the channel back inside the housing in the B core. When placing your channel inside the B core, ensure that the light clip is towards the center of the core. If it's towards the outside, you're going to find your lid will catch on it when you're closing it. Once you've removed all the channels from the frame, the frame is ready to take down. We're going to start at the edges and pulling back the yellow connector, we're going to release the connector from the back of the frame. We continue this process all the way around the frame, leaving the center connector in place to last. With all of the connectors released except for the center one, we're going to support the frame by holding one of the fiberglass rods and release the center connector. You then can allow your frame to fall and collapse. When you have your frame collapsed, locate the A-core, retrieve the plastic bag, and place the frame inside the bag before storing it inside the A-core. Once you have your Mirage packed down and the cores are back inside the transporters, close the lid and take hold of the catch, hooking the top of the lid, and then twist to secure it. Place the metal tab back over the locking tab and do the same thing on the other side.